you've probably heard that the process of pursuing canonization for Chicago's Father Augustus Tolton is well underway. Recently, Bishop Joseph Perry, the postulator for the cause for Father Tolton's sainthood, and his counterpart from Rome, Dr. Andrea Ambrosi, joined Father Greg Sakowitz and myself on the Catholic Community of Faith radio program. Also in studio was translator Madeline Coons. Here's a portion of that conversation. Bishop Joe Perry, just maybe in a brief nutshell, the history and the life of Father Augustus Tolton. He was born a slave. Both of his parents were slaves. Uh, The farm that he grew up on is still there. In fact, it's only had two owners since then. And uh, his mother escaped slavery, um, traveling on foot some 40 miles, taking him, a brother, and a sister, shortly after her husband uh, left to fight with the Union troops. Uh, But he died down in St. Louis in a hospital. And she never found that out for some years later. But uh, it was a harrowing trip. Uh, leaving slavery and getting over to the Underground Railroad, which is in Quincy, Illinois. Uh, They shot at her, and they tried to arrest her. But she landed in Quincy and took refuge with the family there where she tried to raise her her children. And given the um, difficult uh, racial situation at that time during Reconstruction, She had a hard time getting her kids um, educated in Catholic schools. They were in a German school for a while, and the parents got bent out of shape and were throwing rocks at the rectory and threatening the priest and so forth. Um, So they worked in a tobacco factory in order to make ends meet, and uh, they tried to get him into a seminary because he showed the seeds of a vocation, and they couldn't get him into a seminary. There were some priests and some nuns who tutored him on the side, with the classics, history, philosophy, German, Italian, Latin. Uh, He was a very bright student. Uh, The Franciscan Fathers, the ones who pastor St. Peter's in the Loop, which is the Sacred Heart province, uh, petitioned their minister general in Rome to see if they could possibly get him into the propaganda in Rome, where they train missionaries. And after a couple years of of not hearing anything, they finally got word that he was accepted. So he studied there six years and was ordained in 1886 at St. John Lateran in Rome. And to his surprise, instead of being sent to Africa, they sent him back here to the United States, uh, not really realizing the difficult situation they were sending him into. After emancipation of the slaves and Reconstruction, there really was no program in this country for uh, receiving of freed blacks. And uh, so all of that was thrown at him uh, by society as well as the church. Um, A very difficult time working in Quincy as a pastor. Um, So he was ordained in 1886 and sent back to Quincy as a pastor at the age of 32? Exactly. Newly ordained and pastor. And newly ordained. Wow. In, in addition to his being the first uh, uh, African-American uh, priest uh, in the archdiocese and in the country, what aspects of his life, um, what will be the, they be looking for to determine whether he was, in fact, a, a man of holiness? How do they determine that? Quali saranno gli aspetti molto... Eh, beh, naturalmente abbiamo detto prima questo fatto che è una persona di colore, ma naturalmente dobbiamo... Right, we have to see if he actually, in fact, lived a virtuous life. So we'll have to go down and study and see if he exercised the different virtues. And Bishop Perry, what have you discovered so far in your findings from the, the history, the data, the information, letters? What have you found to this point in the work that you have done regarding his life? Uh, We find him a man of extraordinary patience and um, charity and missionary zeal, a constancy in the face of opposition and um, long suffering. Obviously the cause of Father Tolton is important to us here in Chicago. Why, Why is it important for the Holy Father why is it important for the whole church? Sì, eh, si nota in questi ultimi anni, 
in questi ultimi almeno dieci anni. Well, the Holy Father, the, even the most um, John Paul II and the most recent one, it's been about the last ten years. There's been a certain push to find special figures, special figures who can relate with with more groups of people, broader groups of people. And in fact, we, we travel together in many different areas, all over different continents, Africa, Asia, because there's so many figures that can be taken from these different places that we can study. And, and that's exactly what the Holy Father's message is, to go out and to find these people, if you will. And Bishop Perry, the significance of the canonization process for Father Tolton here in the Archdiocese of Chicago. Well, we've had two other saints who walked the streets of Chicago in the 19th century, uh, Mother Frances Cabrini and Mother Catherine Drexel. So Chicago is not a stranger to holiness, even though we have a reputation for <laughs> crime and toughness. Other, other toughness and political brashness and so forth. There is holiness, and that's a great signal for the faithful of the church to know that that exists. What has been the most rewarding and most challenging aspect of this case? The most rewarding was to <clears throat> discover the details of his life and to read his letters uh, with which I received a, a deeper glimpse into his personality and then coupled with our visit to the places where he lived and worked um, I received a strong impact as if he was living with us right now in fact I I talk to him every day hmm. Uh, it, it's as if he is still still here. I, f I sense that, and I hope he's watching. So it's over been this. part of your almost like part of your prayer life. Yes, yes, indeed. And the most challenging. Yeah, as a young seminarian, as a young priest, I always knew of Tolton. You know, he was part of the historical pictograph of ancestors and other African American giants and so forth. But he was just a figure until. The cardinal asked me to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then he, he, he became alive, kind of resurrected. Well, on that note, we're going to have to bring this segment to a close. But the website for the whole canonization process to learn more about Father Augustus Tolton is www.toltoncanonization.org. A reminder that you can hear wonderful Catholic programming around the clock in the Chicago area on Relevant Radio, 9.50 a.m.